53-year-old Els Vanderheiden has cystic fibrosis. As her symptoms worsened, she was forced to quit her job and give up what she loves most, riding horses. Over the last five, six years, my energy really, really, really went, well, uh, to a very, very low level. Her doctors initially ruled out an expensive new drug called Orcombi because it hasn't been proven to help her rare form of cystic fibrosis. But after researchers grew a mini organ from her cells and it responded to the treatment, doctors knew it would help Vanderheiden too. The moment we saw these mini guts growing, we were struck by how vigorous they look. They are extremely healthy. Hans Klavers is one of the scientists who pioneered the technique of growing mini organs, or so-called organoids, that mimic features of full-sized organs without the surrounding tissue or blood supply. In the case of Vanderheiden, they grew a mini gut, which they found easier to grow than other organs, to serve as a close stand-in to test drugs. They're small, they're only maybe up to a millimeter large, uh, but they are complete. They have everything that you would see in a, in a real gut, only at a very small scale. Cystic fibrosis is primarily a lung disease, but it affects every organ in the body, including the digestive tract. A defect in the gene which produces a protein responsible for balancing the salt content of cells lining the organs results in a sticky mucus buildup. Normally the cells puff up as they start processing salt and water, but that doesn't happen to people with cystic fibrosis. Scientists tested certain drugs on patients' custom-made mini-guts to see what would happen. By looking at the, the swelling phenotype, we can see whether a drug is, is, is going to be active in an individual patient or not. Netherland researchers hope to grow mini-guts for all 1,500 Dutch patients, of whom about 10 percent have a rare type of cystic fibrosis. They're about a third of the way done and have identified about 60 patients who would benefit from drugs, including Orcombi. The study is part of a bigger effort to grow mini-organs to test treatment options for various diseases, not just cystic fibrosis. In general, uh, this is a technology that creates hope for a patient. So, for some patients, it's changing lives nowadays, but for almost all patients, it gives hope for the future. While the idea sounds promising, some scientists say there are obstacles in using mini organs, especially to potentially treat cancer. Molecular biologist Matthew Garnett, who was not connected to the study, says testing of cancer patients must happen fast to make a difference in their treatment. Now, we're not there yet. There's a number of things that still need to be done in terms of improving the efficiency of the method, making it more robust, and really understanding how predictive those tests in the lab are of how a patient responds. While the future of many organs are still being explored, patients like Vanderheiden are benefiting now. She's been taking the drug since last December. She says her energy has returned and she's able to enjoy some of her favorite activities again. Kathy Young, Associated Press.